and welcome to the second episode of the 2022 to 2023 season of Sycamore Junior High School Daily Video Announcements. Today is September 7th. Now for your daily news media source packed with helpful and important school information. I'm Emily. And hello, I'm Maddie. Now let's all please stand, place our hand over our heart, and honor our amazing country as we all say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Did you know that today is National Salami Day? Really? Wow. Yeah, Salami Appreciation Society created National Salami Day in the year 2006. The first observance was held on September 7th, 2006 in Jerico, Virginia. That's so cool. I love salami. Yeah, me too. Hey, are you interested in building or programming, programming robots? Are you good at advertising or promoting products, making videos, organizing an engineering notebook, competing against and outperforming other teams on the robotics competition field? Or ready to have fun learning how? The FTC robotics team will have their first meeting today at Wednesday, September 7th, right after school from 3 through 5 p.m. in room 221, Mrs. Jarvis' room. Please make arrangements for a ride home at 5 p.m. And if you have any questions, please see or email Ms. Jarvis or Mr. Mr. Harvey. Okay, come out on the force this Thursday. That's tomorrow is our first weekly school-wide Sycamore Junior High cheerleading section event for the boys' soccer game. Let's get everyone in our school to pack the stands and cheer on the junior high boys soccer game tomorrow at Sycamore Junior High Stadium at 4.30 p.m. Also, plan ahead for the next Sycamore event. Mark your calendars for next week's game where everyone will cheer on the cross country team at Good Shepherd. Go Junior High Aviators. Let's show our school spirit and cheer on our classmates. Speaking of supporting our athletes, here are our wonderful and amazing Outstanding Athletes of the Week. Alright, now it is time to present our Athletes of the Week. Each week, coaches will pick an athlete from their particular sport that they think is deserving of Athlete of the Week. So our first Athletes of the Week this year are, Gabby, come sit next to me. This is Gabby McVeigh. And Gabby is new to the Sycamore community, and this is soccer, isn't it? Alright, Gabby is our girls' soccer uh, Athlete of the Week. So she's new to the Sycamore community, but you would never know. She's become a part of the team the minute she stepped on the field. She does an excellent job passing to her teammates, making creative runs, and taking shots. She is a team player, loud on the field. You loud? Sometimes. All right, that's good. And always helping others. So congratulations to our uh, Athlete of the Week from the girls' soccer team, Gabby McVeigh. Congratulations. There you go. All right. Our next Athlete of the Week Come on in. Okay. Is Abby Dinesh. Okay. Abby. Abby Dinesh. Sorry. As a returning eighth grader, Abby has stepped up and volunteered to play keeper. That's goalie for the boys' soccer team. The team didn't have anyone who wanted to play this high-pressure high position full-time. The coaches are very grateful for Abby's willingness and selflessness to try a new position. He is 100% on and off the field and is always communicating in a positive way. Abby exemplifies respect on a daily basis, one of the PBIS, PBIS character traits at Sycamore Schools. He demonstrates respect by listening to the coaches when they speak and having eye contact. Coach Tanaka and Coach Brenner want to thank Abby for being a great model and a joy to coach this season. So, Abby, there you go. Congratulations. And those are our Athletes of the Week. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Our junior high counseling team wants to say hello and remind us that all scheduled change requests must be into your school counselor by this Friday, September 8th. You can have a parent email your counselor or you can stop down to the counseling office before Friday for consideration. And now our junior high counseling team would like to introduce themselves. Good morning, Sycamore Junior High. The counselors are here today. Mr. Brenner, that's me, Mrs. Souter, and Mrs. Morris. We'll be sharing some helpful information throughout the remainder of the school year on video announcements as well as through email, so keep an eye out for both. Today, the counseling department would like to introduce ourselves, let you know where to find us, and how to access us during the school day. Uh, I'm Mr. Brenner, and I work with students' last names A through G. So if you don't know what your last name is, double check, but A through G is what I got. You may be asking why you would see your counselor. We help support you with all things academic, social concerns with friends, the personal issues you may be experiencing and just need help with. Pretty much any challenge that pops up throughout the year, we are here to help troubleshoot. 
Uh, Mrs. Suter is actually going to now explain how you can access us. Hi, I'm Mrs. Suter. I cover last names H through N. So if you decide you'd like to see one of us, there are a couple of different ways you can connect with us. Many students like to email us to request a meeting. And other students just let their teachers know that they'd like to see our, their counselor, and then the teacher will send you down, or they'll let us know that you'd like a meeting. Another way you can stop down is to stop down on your own between classes to request a meeting. There will be times that we are not available and we're not able to meet with you when you come down. If that's the case, then you'll just um, fill out a note that we have in the counseling office. They look like this. So you'll just write your name, any message that you would like to leave, and we'll connect with you as soon as we can. We will often send you guys passes as well if we need to speak with you, or we'll call your teacher to send you down as well. So if you get one of these passes, that's us calling for you. We are here to support you, so if you receive a pass, we're just connecting with you. So now it's Mrs. Morris's turn to let you know where you can find us. Hi, I'm Mrs. Morris, and I work with students who have the last names that start with the letters O through Z, as well as all of the ESL students. All of the counseling offices are located on the first floor within the main office. Enter through the door by the nurse's office and check in with Mrs. Manning. Mrs. Manning will then check to see if we are available and direct you to our offices. Some great times to see us are during flex time, during a study hall, or in between bells. We may also meet with you during class, and we will always write you a pass back to class when we're finished talking. We hope you've had a great start to your school year, and we look forward to working with you. Feel free to stop down and say hello. Bye, guys. Have See a great guys. day. Yeah. Thank you, counselors. Tomorrow, remember to wear your favorite NFL jersey. Who day? I'm going to wear my Bengal jersey. All right, next up. Did you know that on this day, Pedro I, son of King Hal the, um, the VI, declares Brazil's independence from Portugal? Wow, I didn't know that. Surprisingly, we have no student or staff birthday today. And now to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements. All right, a lot of these are repeats from yesterday, so we'll shorten them a little bit, but make sure you pay attention. Information is still there. If you like to sing and dance, okay, Sycamore Singing Company may be for you. Uh, the Sigmar Singing Company, or SSC, is an extracurricular show choir here at the Junior High led by Mr. Callahan and Mrs. Savage. Auditions are coming up soon. In order to audition, you need to attend the audition clinic today from 3 to 4.45 in the choir room after school. So that's today that, uh, for SSC. If you're un unable to attend the clinic, please email Mr. Callahan as soon as possible for more information. All of the audition materials will be found on the Sycamore Scene Company Blackboard page, and you can accept, access this starting on Wednesday, September 7th, again today, by searching for Callahan in the Blackboard search bar. Sycamore uh, Scene Company will be displayed as one of his classes. And again, if you, have more inform if you need more information, email Mr. Callahan or Mrs. Savage, both of their Sycamore emails. FTC Robotics team, you are meeting today after school in room 221 from 3 to 5 o'clock. Make sure you have a ride home at 5 o'clock, and if you have questions, please see Mrs. Jarvis. Hey, if you're interested in uh, learning about different cultures, different countries, and trying some ethnic foods and things, please join the International Club. We play games, sample ethnic foods, play sports, sing songs, or do crafts, and learn to celebrate our diversity. Use this code ENXDMII to join the Google Classrooms or go to talk to Ms. Wolford upstairs and she'll talk to you about International Club. Student Council, if you're interested in Student Council, please see Mrs. Manning in the Counseling Office for an application. Applications are due by September 16th at 3 o'clock. And if you were one of the winners of the first class gift card drawing from last week's first day of school, Miss E is supposed to list of winners outside of her door. That's room 116. Come and check that out during Flex. And if you won, she'll give you your prize. And last but not least, remember Thursday we're having an NFL Spirit Day. Please wear your favorite NFL Spirit Day work to celebrate the NFL starting kicking off that night. So wear your favorite Who Day or whatever. Wear that to school on Thursday. That's it for me. You guys have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. That's all for today's video announcements. Have a great day and go Waves!